All right, let's go. Just let me know. On the 4th of January, 2012, a user on 4chan posted this image. Okay, all right. Ding dong on 4chan. All right, hello. We are looking for highly intelligent individuals. To find them, we have devised a test. There's a message hidden in this message. Find it, and it will lead you on the road to finding us. We look forward to meeting the few that will make it all the way through. Good luck. Image to decide's infamous B or random board. The anonymous author who went Yo, by Kaya, the four digit the pseudonym also, Nico, 33 you as well. one challenged users to player, uncover you a too, message man. hidden within the image. Thank you guys a lot for the subs. Unbeknownst to those who stumbled across it, someone had just set in motion. Bumpity bump, challenge accepted. Oh, challenge accepted. Oh my god, bumping for curiosity. Okay, okay. One of the most elaborate scavenger hunts the internet has ever seen. Cicada 3301. Within minutes of the image being posted, someone discovered that by opening the file using a text editor, an appended string of readable text could be found. The string contained a cipher that, once deciphered, formed a link to yet another image. At using a text editor, an appended string of readable text could be found. The string contained a cipher that, once deciphered, formed a link to yet another image. Whoops! Just decoys this way. Looks like you can't guess how to get the message out. Why is there a duck? <laughs> Why is there a duck? A wooden decoy. The duck is a decoy. Okay. At first, okay. this appeared to be okay. a dead okay. end, but okay. using an application known as OutGuess, users were able to extract hidden information embedded within the first image. The extracted information led to a subreddit, which in turn contained information about the book. The book, along with a code, could then be used to uncover a phone number that, when called, played this pre-recorded message. Very good. You have done well. There are three prime numbers associated with the original final .jpg image. 3301 is one of them. You will have to find the other two. Multiply all three of these numbers together and add a .com on the end to find the next step. Good luck. The string contained a cipher that, once deciphered, formed a link to yet another image. At first, this appeared to be a dead. Okay, an image said there's something in the image. Boom, people fucking found another image in the image. This image said it was a decoy, but obviously it was lying. At end, but using an application known as OutGuess, users were able to extract hidden information embedded within the first image. Okay. The extracted information led. Here is a book code. To find the book and more information, go to this Reddit site. To a subreddit, which in turn contained information about the book. The book. The Mon Bin Ogian. Dude, I'm so fucking dumb. Like. Dude, if someone were to ask me this, there's literally zero... I can't even pronounce the name of the book, okay? I can't even pronounce the name of the book, let alone find a code in an image that leads me to another image that says this is a decoy, but nah, it's not a decoy. That's a double debate. So I'm going to take that image and I'm going to, I'm going to decode it. And now I found this Reddit post and now there's a Reddit post with a book. I can't even pronounce the name of the book. The Mabinogian. The Mabinogian. Okay. Book along with a code could then be used to uncover a phone number that when called played this pre-recorded message. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I'm sorry I'm pausing. I'm sorry I'm pausing, okay? My, my, dude, I'm, I'm way too stupid for this. <laughs> ...which in turn contained information about the book. The book, along with a code, could then be used to uncover... The book with the code and the code... ...turn contained information about the book. The book, along with... Okay, King Arthur was at some other word I can't pronounce upon Usk, and one day he sat in his chamber, and with him were Owain the son of Urien, and Kynon the son of Clyde, Clyde now, and Kai the son of Kyner, the Gwyn 
Hewar Var and her handmaidens at needlework by the window. What in the fuck did I just read? Is that a sentence? What the fuck? And if it should be said that there was a porter at Arthur's place, there was none. Glue Lwid was there acting as porter to welcome guests and strangers and to receive them with honor and to inform them that the manners and customs of the court and to directly... Hold on, he highlights something. But a code could then be used to unc What the f- Why would you- How do you get the code? Cover a phone number that, when called, played this pre-recorded message. Very good. You have done well. There are three prime numbers associated with the original final dot JPEG image. 3301 is one of them. You will have to find the other two. Multiply all three of these numbers together and add a dot com on the end to find the next step. Good luck. Goodbye. By the following day, the initial image had been reposted all over the internet. Should I, should I call the number? It's free content. Do it. What if I call the number and my phone explodes? A growing community of armchair detectives sought to unravel this elaborate puzzle, but no one was quite sure what to make of it. What was the puzzle for? Who was behind it? What happens when you reach the end? Some naturally dismissed it as an elaborate joke, while others perceived its complexity as evidence against it being the work of a mere troll. Before long, rumors began to circulate that this could be the work of some secret society or intelligence agency, with the intent of recruiting individuals proficient in cryptography, stegon- Never call numbers off 4chan. Yo, that's, that's good advice. ...nography and other related <laughs> fields. Of course, it was nothing but a rumor. The two missing numbers mentioned in the recording proved to be the dimensions of the original image. After multiplying the width and height with 3301 and using the product as a web address, users were taken to a website. The website consisted of a countdown as well as an image of a cicada. When the countdown reached zero, the page was updated with a list of coordinates. The coordinates point for our symbol at the location nearest you, or find our symbol. Holy shit to locations around the globe, 14 locations in five different countries. It was now up to participants living near the specified coordinates to rise from their comfortable armchairs and venture outside. Those who believed Cicada to be the work of an organization now felt their beliefs had been justified. In their opinion, only some international collective possessed the means and resources to create a scavenger hunt of this magnitude. This was not the work of your average troll. No, this had to be something else. At each location was a poster with a cicada symbol and a QR code. And the bike shelter over here. See, I got it, got it right there. Oh. You can see the corners. I was excited. I just kind of ripped it off. The codes linked to an oh image. Oh my god! The image contained a riddle. The riddle led to a book, and the book led to a website. Thursday. I was excited, I just kind of ripped it off. The codes linked to an image. The image contained a riddle. Codes linked to an image. Image contained a riddle. The riddle led to a book, and the book led to a website. But here, the puzzle took an unexpected turn. Only a select group of first arrivals to this website were accepted into the final stage of the puzzle. The site eventually closed down with a message, we want the best, not the followers. The finalists were also warned not to collaborate with others nor to share the details of this private stage of the puzzle. Well, uh, given that we know this, it's safe to say that not everyone heeded that warning. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what dude? Whenever an NDA is broken for any game, I just laugh dude. I just fucking laugh. You know why? Because look man, if these motherfuckers couldn't even keep people from not telling this shit, 
There is no hope. There is no hope, okay? If the Cicada 3301 people couldn't keep an NDA, then there is no hope. There's no hope for an NDA, okay? But those who did presumably advanced through the final stages before reaching the very end of the puzzle. After nearly a month of silence, an image appeared on the subreddit announcing the conclusion of the puzzle, and just like that... Hello, we have found the individuals we saw it. Thus our month-long journey ends, for now. Thank you for your dedication and effort. If you were unable to complete the test or did not receive an email, do not despair. There will be more opportunities like this one. Thank you all. 3301. P.S. <laughs> Just a bunch of numbers. But the hunt was over. Cicada I'm sure that's like a picture that leads to a book. You open the book, you get a key, you take the key, you go under the ocean to that fucking plane that they never found, and inside the plane there's a treasure chest, you use a key on the treasure chest, and in the treasure chest you get a gym, you examine the gym, you crack it open, there's a mosquito full of dinosaur blood, you res the dinosaur back from the dead, he's actually a talking dinosaur, and he says, you know what? Congratulations! You know what? Yeah! Yeah! I'm not even mad! This is just happy clap! <laughs> you got me! You caught me. Yeah. You know what? Now I'm mad. You know, you cheated. You cheated, but congrats. You went to the bottom of the ocean, but congrats. You cheated. You know, hollow victory and all that. Congrats. And now I'm dead because I'm a dinosaur living in modern fucking world. ...had supposedly found the highly intelligent individuals they were looking for and whatever happened to them is a bit of a mystery, but more on that in a moment. The complete lack of an explanation was perceived by many as confirmation that the puzzle had been nothing but a wild goose chase intent on wasting everyone's time. <laughs> After all, questions raised by the original image remained unanswered. What was the puzzle for? Who was behind it? What happens when you reach the end? However, as it later turned out, this was only the beginning. The second puzzle. Whomever was behind this intricate game had the foresight to include an authentication code known as a PGP signature along- From here on out, we will cryptographically sign all messages with this key. It is available on the MIT key servers. I don't even know what cryptographically even means. And I don't know what a MIT key server is. Patience is virtue. Good luck. Along with every clue. This allowed users to verify that an image or message was actually from Cicada, as opposed to some imposter seeking to derail oh, or hijack the puzzle. Okay, okay, okay. Cicada had repeatedly warned of such false paths and insisted that any message lacking a valid PGP signature should promptly be disregarded. That's why this image, posted exactly a year and a day after the first, provoked such a frenzy. After a year of lackluster imitations, this image finally matched the official PGP signature. Cicada was back, and it was time for round two. The second puzzle was not too dissimilar from the first. The image enclosed a message, the message led to a book, the book produced- The book of the law, liberal, vel- oh my- Uh, I'll read it in K Kona, the book of law, liberal, veil, legis, sub, figura, kicks. Used a link, and gradually the puzzle unfolded. At one point, the recording titled The Instar Emergence was uncovered. to a cryptic Twitter account, which BANGER ALERT! BANGER ALERT! Which then led to an image. The image proved vital to the progression of the puzzle, but the inclusion of this runic alphabet would remain a mystery for quite some time. Much like the first puzzle, the second swelled into the physical world when a list of coordinates compelled participants to once again take to the streets in search of enigmatic posters. This time it was eight locations in four different countries. 
but eventually the trail went cold once again. Another select group of first arrivals had been accepted into a final, private stage of the puzzle. Unlike the first puzzle, the second did not conclude with an official message from Cicada. The trail merely went cold and Cicada vanished once more, leaving us no closer to an explanation. However, this was still not the end. Oh my god. The third puzzle. At the beginning of 2014, it was time for round three. One Epiphany is upon you. Your pilgrimage has begun. What? Your pilgrimage has begun? What the fuck were the first two puzzles? Enlightenment awaits? Good luck. Once again, the image enclosed a message. The message led to a book. The book produced Ralph Waldo Emerson, Self-Reliance and Other Essays. The link, and suffice it to say, it was more of the same. Except this time, the puzzle seemed to revolve around a strange book. The book was titled Liber Primus, meaning first book in Latin, and was evidently written by Cicada. The runic alphabet uncovered in 2013 finally made sense, as the book was primarily written in runes. E even so, the meaning of the translated pages were cryptic at best. The book consisted of various philosophical and ideological ideas and appeared to be their manifesto. Many of most things are not worth preserving. We follow dogma so that we can belong to be right, or we follow reason so we can belong to be right. There is nothing to be right about. To belong is death. It is behaviors, consumption, preservation, and adherence. Since compared the strange writings to that of a cult. Nevertheless, the book also comprised a myriad of clues and codes. For example, this page advised participants to seek out a website on the deep web, but the site remains undiscovered. Another page led to a website containing yet another recording titled Interconnectedness. I figured it out. You know what this is? This is a prelude to literally the fattest album drop of all time. Because if you notice, right, that banger alert we had earlier, that's a verse. This right here, this is the bridge. This is going to be literally the fucking fattest album drop of all time. Oh, yeah. All Cicada is is a band. They're just a band. Okay. However, a significant portion of the book has yet to be translated. The runic text on some of the pages appear to be obfuscated by layers of encryption that has yet to be decrypted. Of the 74 pages featuring runes, only 19 have been successfully translated. Oh my lord. As 2015 came and went without the launch of a new puzzle, Many came to suspect the Liber Primus had to be completed if Cicada was to return. This was more or less confirmed at the beginning of 2016, when Cicada encouraged a re-examination of the book. The path lies empty. Epiphany seeks the devoted. Liber Primus is the way. The words are the map. Their meaning is the road. And their numbers... Is that a typo? <laughs> and their numbers are the direction. Seek and you will be found. More than four years have now gone by, with minimal progress and near-complete silence from Cicada. Questions raised by the original image have gone ignored. What is the purpose of these puzzles? Who's behind them? What happens when you reach the end? When the initial image appeared on 4chan back in 2012, many assumed Cicada 3301 to be an alternate reality game designed by a corporation to promote a new service or product. For example, Microsoft developed an elaborate ARG back in 2001 to promote the film Artificial Intelligence, and a similar viral marketing campaign was used to promote the release of Halo 2. But the release of subsequent puzzles and the complete lack of commercialization has more or less eliminated that possibility. If we choose to believe some of the leaked information from the private end stage of each puzzle, then we do gain some insight into who this group might be. 
Do not share this information. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Lol. Congratulations. Your month of testing has come to an end. Out of the thousands who attempted it, you are one of the only a few who have succeeded. There's one last step. Although there will not be any hidden codes or secret messages or physical treasure hunts, the last step is only honesty. We always have been honest with you, and we shall continue to be honest with you, and we expect you to be honest with us in return. You have all wondered who we are, and so we shall now tell you. We are an international group. We have no name. We have no symbol. We have no membership rosters. We do not have a public website, and we do not advertise ourselves. We are a group of individuals who have proven ourselves much like you have by completing this recruitment contest, and we are drawn together by common and beliefs. A careful reading of the text used in the context would have revealed some of these beliefs. The tyranny and oppression of any kind must end. That censorship is wrong and that privacy is an inalienable right. We are not a hacker group, nor we are a Juarez group. We do not engage in illegal activity, nor do our members. If you are engaged in a, in a legal activity, we ask that you cease any and all illegal activity or decline membership at this time. We will not ask questions if you decline, however. If you lie to us, we will find out. You are undoubtedly wondering what it is that we do. We are much like a think tank in that our primary focus is on researching and developing techniques to aid the ideas as we advocate liberty, privacy, security. You have undoubtedly heard of a few of our past projects. If you chose to accept membership, we are happy to have you on board and help with the future projects. For example, at the end of the first puzzle, finalists suppose Please reply to this email with the answers to the next few questions to continue. Do you believe that every human being has a right to privacy and anonymity and is within their right to use tools which help obtain and maintain privacy, cash, strong encryption, anonymity software, etc.? Do you believe that information should be free? Do you believe that censorship harms humanity? We look forward to hearing from you. Yo, is this NordVPN, dude? Supposedly received this email. In it, Cicada described themselves as an international group who believe that privacy is an inalienable right. The aim of each puzzle is to recruit like-minded individuals in an effort to develop privacy-conscious solutions. The email then concludes with three questions. The PGP signature, which would have confirmed the authenticity of the email, was conveniently removed by the leaker. If a version with a valid signature does exist online, I was unable to find it. But regardless of its legitimacy, I find this question a bit odd. It reads, do you believe that information should be free? Assuming the expected answer is yes, then the very first sentence, do not share this information, seems a bit hypocritical. While the idea of a secret society recruiting individuals by means of elaborate cryptographic puzzles may seem a bit absurd or even conspiratorial, it's not entirely unfounded. Corporations and governments alike have employed similar recruitment techniques since at least the Second World War. In 2013, the British intelligence agency GCHQ launched a recruitment program known as Can You Find It? Participants had to decrypt a number of cryptograms hidden across the internet and those who managed to solve the entire puzzle were offered a price or a position at the agency. Google did something similar with enigmatic billboards back in 2004, and the US Navy launched a near-identical project in 2014. Okay, but then what about the recruits? Why have we not heard from these chosen few? Well, we have. It's just that separating a legitimate finalist from an imposter is virtually impossible. In a 2015 interview with Rolling Stone, two alleged winners of the first puzzle chronicled the events beyond the final stage. After receiving an email from Cicada, they were taken to a forum on the dark web. Here they could communicate with 20-some-odd recruits as well as a handful of established members of Cicada. The dark web? I thought that was just 4chan. Or is it like the internet within the internet? They were told that Cicada 3301 had been founded by a group of friends who shared common ideals about security, privacy, and censorship. The goal was to work as a collective to develop software applications in line with that ideology. As friends recruited friends, this secret society quickly expanded into a decentralized international organization. The recruits were then tasked with developing software that fit the ideology of the group, and members of Cicada would oversee their progress. But without the allure of a puzzle to be solved, the recruits quickly lost interest. By the end of 2012, all but one had left, and a few months later, the site was gone. 
they never heard from Cicada again. One of the two winners, named Marcus Wanner, later elaborated further in a video by YouTuber Nox Populi. Furthermore, Nox Populi himself claims to be a winner of the second puzzle, so I reached out to him and this is some of what he had to say. After completing the final stages of the second puzzle, Nox Populi received an invitation to join Cicada 3301. However, he was not invited to a website but was instead merely told to be patient. Then, around May of 2013, all communication with Cicada abruptly ceased. This was around the same time as when the website dedicated to the winners of the first puzzle was suddenly taken down. Nox Populi later contacted other winners of the second puzzle to compare notes and their experiences were identical. In his own words, All the stories were the same. We were invited to join 3301, then something happened and silence followed a request for patience. Nox Populi supposed that roughly five others completed the second puzzle in contrast to the 20-odd winners of the first. In regards to who or what Cicada is, Nox Populi believes they could be a remnant of the cypherpunk movement of the late 80s and 90s. Essentially a small group of activists advocating widespread use of strong cryptography and privacy-enhancing technologies, but he admits that there is no way to know for certain. If you want a far more comprehensive walkthrough of these puzzles as opposed to my brief overview, Nox Populi has produced a number of videos on his channel which I highly recommend. While these accounts cannot be verified, they do make for a very compelling argument as to what Cicada is. A group of anonymous developers seeking to develop privacy-conscious applications by recruiting talented individuals via cryptographic puzzles. Sure, it is not nearly as exciting as a shadow government seeking world domination or any of the more fantastical theories, but it is certainly more plausible. You have to keep in mind that no part of these puzzles would have required more than one person. The posters are often pointed to as evidence that this must be the work of some international organization, but I beg to differ. I mean, right now, I could use any number of services to hire random persons around the globe to install posters for me. Although, given that no poster was located more than an hour away from an airport leads me to believe that one or multiple persons actually traveled to these locations. I mean, some of the posters were found within walking distance of an international airport. The fact is that anyone with a disposable income and enough time on their hands would be able to create the illusion of a vast, secret network spanning the globe. Not saying that that is the case with Cicada 3301, but it is nonetheless a possibility that cannot be discounted. With all of that being said, I personally think a loose-knit group of privacy-minded hobby cryptographers to be the most plausible explanation. Cicada made their last public statement in April of 2017, merely warning against this information. Beware false paths, always verify PGP signature. But the current status of the third puzzle and the possibility of a fourth remains clouded in mystery. Ooh. Ooh.